Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, nom 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 69 returning with another GDI Plus graphics tutorial. And today in this tutorial we will be drawing strings to our screen. And what is a string exactly? Um, a string is just text. We're drawing text to the screen using GDI graphics. So instead of dragging a, la dra dragging a label onto the form, sorry for the slip up, um, what we can do is we can just do some text really simply. So let's just call a uh, string cat equals hey I'm a cat pretty simple we we'll just make a string and now we need to draw it to our screen so right now when we run our program we've got that fill rectangle in the background making it black but we want to draw hey I'm a cat from our string cat to the screen so it's real simple e dot graphics dot draw string if I remember correctly draw string now there's six overloads for this system. Uh, this not this system, but uh, this function, and there I'm probably not going to go over every one of them. Um, yeah, we'll do this one first. Um, the third overload for the function. So string x, we can just put cat in as our string. Um, System dot drawing dot font. Now fonts in C sharp GDI plus graphics are a little funky. You can either import a font to uh, from your uh, resources or you can just use a standard font well every form that you uh, create um, has a font pre-built into it so you can just do this this referring to the form you're in dot font and there we are it's standard times new roman if I remember correctly um, brushes dot white will make it the uh, text color white so it blends into the background we'll just draw it at a hundred a hundred just to be simple and then we run our new program. Hey, I'm a cat drawn right there at 100, 100. Um, we don't need to make, we don't need to um, have a bar variable for our string. We can do, hey, we're drawing strings, strings, and then we run it. Hey, we're drawing strings. Let's just go look at the other overload for this function. Let's get this toolbox out of here. We don't need it. Um, so we have our draw string, um, the third overload. Now there, there's a point, there's a point F, um, if I remember correctly, for the first overload. Yep, point F, which which just uh, simplifies it from X Y. So we can do a uh, string here as our string variable, our fontless dot font, um, our brush brushes dot white, and then new point F. And then we can just give it an X and a Y, so 100, 100. So you can you can draw it with a point. You don't have to like just specific specifically point in put in the variable. You can set down the point as a parameter. And uh, drawing strings, as you can see, is pretty simple. So you know, in a game, if you're making a game with the GDI Plus graphics on C sharp forms, uh, this is great for text. You could even kink out a, a kink out a little. Uh, typewriter effect which wouldn't be too hard I've rolled one of those out before they're not they're really fun to make actually and once you see the result it's really cool anyways uh, this is how you draw things uh, thanks for watching guys remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later